everybody here live at the Voice of Blockchain with Ronnie Rose, Hello. host of the Blockchain Beat podcast and New York State real estate agent. Yes. Pleasure to meet you. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about your uh, podcast? Sure. So I founded Blockchain B uh, earlier this year. And basically what I'm trying to do is help people overcome their intimidation of blockchain. I know especially when I was getting into this space, I felt like this is too technical. I can't understand this, all these things. Uh, and then any other articles that I read that were targeted at app beginners were teaching it to me like I was five and talking down to me. So this is to find a balance. Uh, I teach people about blockchain tech in a super simple way while going further than just the you solve a puzzle to make some money in the mining explanation. Uh, so that's what my podcast focuses on. We also focus on highlighting companies that are using blockchain for social good. That's something that's really important to me. And I feature people who work in blockchain but don't have a tech background. Which is a lot of us. It's definitely something that we have obviously Definitely. Uh, what is the biggest role in teaching people in this space blockchain? Right. I think a lot of people come into this not knowing that there's anything beyond blockchain than just trading cryptocurrencies. They hear of people buying Bitcoin today, buying a Lamborghini next week, and that's not what this is about. And a lot of people, like, that's the sexy part. That's what pulls them in. That's what gets them excited. And they're not so interested in learning about what the other things that I can do. So making it relate to them and making them interested in all these different applications is a big thing that I'm trying to do. And especially, again, helping them overcome their intimidation. You know, you are smart enough to learn about this stuff. Uh, it's for everyone. Anyone can get into this space and anyone can become a contributor to this space, especially because it's the great equalizer. Nobody's an expert. It doesn't matter how old you are, what field you're in. You can get into blockchain and be successful here. So yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about how you think blockchain will affect the real estate industry? Sure, absolutely. So as you said, I'm a real estate agent in New York. I'm helping blockchain ventures find their office space in New York. I want more companies to move to our state, uh, especially since the more companies that we have there, the more pressure we can apply on New York to change the bit license issue. Um, of course, right now they'd have to be headquartered elsewhere, but whatever. Uh, so that's what I'm focusing on now. Um, now in real estate and how blockchain can help, there are a few different areas. Of course, the most obvious is purchasing real estate with cryptocurrencies. And when you're doing that domestically, it's just like a nice thing. But my parents just moved to Israel. And to move to Israel, they had to take all of their US dollars and pay a bunch of banks along the way until they can convert it to the Israeli shekel and then purchase a house. Had they been able to just purchase that home directly with Bitcoin, they wouldn't have had to feed so many mouths, you know? Uh, so that's a huge feat to make this space, to make the world a lot smaller with real estate transactions. And then, of course, there's also the matter of titles, okay? So people who are affected by natural disasters where their home is just destroyed, what if all the records of their ownership is destro are destroyed too? A lot of places don't even have these titles on the internet. You know, it's county-based. It's not a, it's not a international thing. It's not a national thing. Um, and a lot of places just use paper documents. And even if it's on uh, a computer, that could also be destroyed. So if it's on blockchain, if your ownership is public and proven to the world, it can help a lot when you want FEMA to help you uh, rebuild your home or you want insurance to come help you build your home and all these different things. Just proving that you own this land. It's definitely happened before where some deeds get lost in yeah. certain countries and then the government takes them back. Exactly. Exactly. Sure, so I host the podcast Blockchain B, that's B-E-A, it's short for Beatrice. Um, you can go to SoundCloud and search for my podcast Blockchain B. Um, you can also find me on the Douglas LMN website, that's the brokerage that I work with. I really hope I can find some companies here that I can bring to New York. Uh, and yeah, that's. I'd love to connect with anyone who's interested. Sure, 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 sure. No, 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 I just spoke with the, with the rest of the team, like Chicago and New York, we're building them. Together, we'll work together. It's a very exciting time. Yeah, it is, it is. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. Thank you.